morning, Abotai. Yesterday we started speaking about some of the halachot of Tfilat Mincha. Another very important halacha that the Gemara in Masechet Shabbat and the Shulchan Aruch brings down is that when the time for Tfilat Mincha comes, there are certain things, certain activities that become asu. Now, not all of them are nogea to everybody sitting down for judgment. Uh, taking a haircut is a little bit more lenient than it was back in the day, but something that is very uh, pertinent, especially nowadays, is sitting down to a Seuda. The Rambam and Marana Shulchan Aruch rule that once the time for Tfilat Mincha, now when we speak about Tfilat Mincha over here, we're talking about Tfilat Mincha Gedola, which means the earlier Tfilat, tfilat Mincha, not only the Zman for Mincha, but even from a half hour before, which is from Chatzot already, the halacha is that a person is not allowed to sit down to a Seuda. Now what does a Seuda mean? Says the Rambam and the Shulchan Aruch, Seuda means a filu Seuda Ktana, anything more than a kabitza of bread or a kabitza of mizonot is considered a sauda that is asur to begin before a person uh, prays tefillat mincha because the Gemara says Adam nimshach achar seudato when a person eats so he can get uh, drawn out the, the meal can get drawn out and we're afraid that he's going to miss out on tefillat mincha so the Chachamim said you have to daven first and then go eat nevertheless the so according to dry, cut and dry Shulchan Aruch, it is asur if a person has a sandwich for lunch, and the sandwich in general has more than a kabitzah of bread, you're done. You can't have lunch before you daven mincha. The Rama, chatzot, chatzot now is about uh, 11.40 something, already from chatzot, half hour before, is man mincha gedolah. Now, according to the Rama, that only applies, the minhag he says, is to seuda gedola. Seuda gedola, which means, let's say, a wedding, or a brit milah, something of that nature, it's considered seuda gedola, that you can't sit down to, but a seuda ktana, something small, you're allowed to have before. Now again, the kafachaim on the spot in Siman, Reshlam Medbet, rules that the minhag on this issue seems to be in accordance with the Rama. That most people, you see, you look around, most people are having lunch, even a bread lunch or whatever it is, before they dive in mincha. But because of this, Maran Zechonon Lebracha rules that it is better to pray an earlier mincha, although we said yesterday yeah. that early mincha, the da'at Maran HaShulchan Aruch and the Rambam are only with the Abad, but if you put the, you know, one against another, what's better, to eat a bread lunch before tefillat mincha or to pray tefillat mincha early, which is also a the Abad according to Maran, he says it's better to pray early, especially because there are plenty of Rishonim that say that mincha gedola is even lecha techila, the reef holds like that, the rosh holds like that, plenty of rishonim, gedolei olam hold that mincha gedolei is even lechat techila. So at the expense of um, praying mincha gedolei versus eating lunch, bread lunch before tefillat mincha, he says it's better to do that. Indeed, Maran Zechon Olvercha, his entire life, most of his life, he prayed mincha gedolei at 2 p.m. because of this issue, because he didn't want to eat lunch before tefillat mincha, so that's what he did, he used to pray early and then only eat after that. We'll speak about tomorrow, there are other situations which also warrant praying tefillat mincha gedola, in spite of the fact that according to the Shulchan Aruch, mincha gedola is only the Abba, Yom Tov.